Good afternoon, sir. Stop, sir. Hello, good afternoon. Please unmute. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. Okay, sir. Okay. So we'll start very soon, sir. Okay. So, very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, respected dignitaries, resource persons, researchers, my colleagues, and my dear students. I am your host, Dr. Lalchan Patle. On behalf of Department of Electronics, MGSM ASC College, Chopra, I extend my warm welcome to all the participants and listeners of national level webinar on IoT based farming technologies, practices, and future directions. We are very delighted to have our inaugurator for this webinar, uh, Honorable Advocate Sandeep Suresh Patil, sir, President of Mahatma Gandhi Section Mandal, Chopra, Senate member Kavitri Bainabai Chaudhary, North Maharashtra University, Jalgao. I take an opportunity to welcome our guest. Dr. S. S. Sadistab, sir, uh, Chief Scientist, Head Agri Electronics Group, Professor uh, CSIR Shiri, Central Electronic Engineering Research Institute, Pilani, Rajasthan. I also extend my warm welcome to today's research person, Professor Dr. N. M. Kulkarni, sir, Vice Principal and Head Department of Electronic Science, Ferguson College, Pune, Maharashtra. Uh, Dr. D. A. Surivansi, sir, Principal, MGSM ASC College, Chopra. Professor Dr. A. L. Choudhury, uh, convener of this webinar, Vice Principal and Head of the Department of Electronic, ASC College, Chopra. Vice Principal, Professor V. T. Patil, sir, Professor uh, A. N. S. Kohli, sir, and uh, I hope Dr. K. N. Sunan, sir, and all my dear students, teachers, uh, research scholars, supporting staffs. I once again extend my warm welcome to each and everyone uh, present in this webinar. Uh, I humbly request to our uh, principal, Dr. D. A. Surivansi, sir, to preside over this inaugural function. Dear participants, we are surviving in the technological era uh, as technology has become integral part of our life and our country is agriculture dominant country so this webinar is combination of technology plus application of technology in agriculture field so in this context uh, i let me invite professor dr al choudhury sir convener of this webinar to put some light on this webinar so professor dr al choudhury sir please preface the webinar Thank you, sir. Uh, Honorable Bayasai Advocate Sandeep Suresh Patil, President of Mahatma Gandhi Shikshan Mandal Chopra, uh, Senate Member of KBC, North Maharashtra University, Jalgao, and Inaugurator of this function. Uh, Honorable ISF Dr. Swita Sandeep Patil, uh, Secretary Mahatma Gandhi Shikshan Mandal Chopra, Honorable Principal Dr. D.S. Ronshi, sir, our invited speaker, Dr. S. S. Sadista, Chief Scientist, 
and head of the agri electronics group sri pilani rajasthan professor dr n m kulkarni and hod electronics ferguson college pune all you during this online webinar i take this opportunity to introduce my college mahatma gandhi shikshan mandal the uh, art science and commerce college chopra was established in 1969 by honorable dada saheb late dr suresh ji patil ex mla and former education minister late so sharat chandrika suresh patil to discriminate the value based education and upliftment of the professional of the rural masses of for their holistic development the uh, the college provides a various undergraduate and postgraduate programs in the faculties of art science and commerce Al also we have the research centers 15 research centers hd and 45 students are going to uh, uh, in the month of September 2021. Also, the college was uh, received the best college award uh, for the year 2018-19 by our university uh, KBC NMU Jalgaon. Means our uh, college is permanently affiliated to the Kavitri Bainabai Chaudhary North Maharashtra University Jalgaon. The college is uh, having the it is a premier institution. in this region located in 36 acre on campus the large number of trees have been planted to conserve the natural beauty and the other relevant by the government of maharashtra in every year uh, every academic year we organize such a national activity today we are going to organize this national webinar on uh, iot based smart farming technologies practices and future direction iot means internet of thing so in this every object that can be controlled through the internet the iot devices becomes pretty popular in the consumer markets with the variable iot iowt that is the internet of wearable thing such as a smart watches and so uh, home management products book like a google home it is estimated over the 30 million devices would be connected to the internet of things by the year 2020 the application of iot in the farming targets the conventional farming operation to meet an increasing demand and the in decrease production losses smart farming is much more efficient than the traditional method iot based system can monitor agriculture lands soil moisture humidity temperature with the help of the sensors and machinized irrigation practices for instance a farmer can monitor his field from anywhere and get an alert as and when the soil moisture level goes down prompting him to initiate the irrigation agri startup can reach out to all of these farmers and make it viable and cost effective solution for the smart farming iot in the agriculture uses robots drones remote sensors and consumer imaging monitoring crops surveying and mapping the field and provide the data to the farmers for Uh, the rational farm management plans to save both the time and money the central government of india takes care for developing the agri tech sector and aim to empower the indian farmers the indian government supports smart farming because they want to reduce the their efforts and enhance their productivity at present they are working to double the farmers income by 2022 uh they wants to increase the farmers income with the minimum efforts by implementing smart farming today our research persons they are expertise in this field so they will focus and elaborate this iot based farming so with this few word 
so i'll thank you thank you very much over to dr patle thank you sir thank you very much for nicely prefacing the webinar uh, now moving forward so i request dr mp bode sir assistant professor department of electronics to introduce our guest professor dr nm kulkarni sir to our participants uh, over to you sir dr mp bode sir uh, thank you patel sir it is my pleasure to introduce our today's guest speaker professor nitin kulkarni sir who is a vice principal professor and head of electronic science department at ferguson department at ferguson autonomous college in pune he is an active member in committees like governing body academic council examination and finance committee of his college he is having 36 years of teaching undergraduate and postgraduate courses and research experience publication of 35 books and 105 research paper at national and international level are on his account He has supervised 12 number of MPhil and PhD students as a recognized guide in Savitribai Phule University. His research interest includes smart instrumentation, communication and networking, embedded systems, and wireless sensor networks. He also has completed eight research projects funded by Department of Atomic Energy (DST), ISRO, UGC, as well as he has also visited hungary italy singapore and united states for various academic and research purposes he is a founder member of society for promotion of excellence in electronic discipline which is widely known as a spit in electronics community as well as he is a member of ieee and instrumentation society of india he is a recipient of best teacher award from pune municipal corporation and r chandrashekar award from indian physics association with this brief introduction i again welcome and request professor nitin kulkarni sir to enlighten us on iot based farming thank you over to dr patel thank you sir uh kulkarni sir you can share the screen hello can you hear me sir yes sir yes, sir. is it visible yeah yes sir it is visible you can uh, make a slide show okay, okay. is it visible now yes sir it is visible yes Okay, I'll begin the session now. Is it audible? Yeah, audible. Well, it is really wonderful opportunity for me to be a part of national webinar organized by MGSM's Arts, Science, and Commerce College, Chopra. I should thank the organizer for organizing this wonderful seminar. on such interesting topic let us uh, understand the importance of this topic in today's scenario well presently our country is uh, having main resource as agriculture so agriculture yield is providing lot of say uh, financial aspects to the farmer the livelihood of the farmer as well as the economics of the country is totally depend upon mm, the farming now first i'll spare some time on explaining you the present scenario of our traditional farming we'll try to identify the importance of say smart farming now this smart farming is possible using iot so let's understand 
this some of the technology which are based on advancements in the electronics and computer then we'll try to understand what is iot we'll talk about the technical details of iot then we'll talk about why iot is required in such kind of scenario then what are the things to the required for transforming our traditional farming to smart farming. So these are the details that we'll be talking about. And then let us get the knowledge of IoT specifically for everybody. Now, what will be our role? We are really, uh, will be the graduates or postgraduates who would be benefiting from such kind of a technology. So what will be our role in such kind of changing scenario? So are we part of this transformation? Would you like to become a part of this kind of national movement where the traditional farming will be moved to the smart farming? So IoT for you, we'll consider a simple case study. These are some of the important points that we'll be talking about. IoT is the concept which is universally used all over the world but as far as the Indian context is concerned, there are certain constraints, but we'll be talking about what could be the future of Indian scenario as well, right? So these are some of the things that we'll be talking about in our session. So let us first begin with what is the present scenario of Indian farming? Now, as you are aware of this, not only in India, but all over the world, the population is increasing exponentially. And as the population is increasing, the most important part, what is required is there should be a good food supply demand that must be possible. In addition to that, when we talk about uh, on one side, there's an increase in population, but what is happening today is the agricultural land as well as dependence on natural resources, rain, it's very heavy, right? So the, we, we know that uh, the agricultural land is getting converted into non-agricultural land and so on for industry and for housing and so on. So what is happening in last uh, two, three decades, there is really a reduction in the land. In addition to that, our agriculture is heavily depend upon the climate. And as you are aware of, we are facing a problem of climate change. So that's another important uh, problem that we are facing. Now, because of climate change problem, because of reduction in agricultural land, natural resources, and so on, there's a lot of gap in the demand and the supply. Whatever the food that we require in our country or even for exports cannot be supplied by our agricultural section. That's the problem. So there's a gap. Now, globally, whenever you are exporting your food product, well, the quality is an important aspect. So we have to look at the quality of the product that we are providing. And people are interested more in organic or uh, farming or uh, use of natural resources or processes to generate the farming yield. That's the most important aspect. Now, this is the current scenario. Now, how do we really uh, make our farming a little bit smarter? Now, to make it smarter, you have to use smart devices. And these devices would help the farmer in variety of areas. So for example, if I like to monitor the quality of the soil, Naturally, it is possible, the, or maybe how the crop yield could be enhanced. I need to get information about what will be the light intensity, the solar radiations, and so on, humidity, temperature. There could be several parameters like the crop health, whether it's a healthy crop or not. Now, all these things are required. And in addition to that, there are uh, definitely systems that we are thinking about in irrigation. Right now, in place of using the open-ended irrigation, we can have a drip irrigation or maybe smart irrigation systems, which could be automatically detecting the humidity or the moisture contains and could start. 
this is one aspect in the smart farming the second aspect which is not that much critical for indian context farmers can monitor the field condition from anywhere now here we don't have a problem of population so naturally this is the added benefit but uh, uh, maybe it may not be important in the indian context right now now whenever we are talking about making automation or thinking about automation the most important part is it possible to start the water pumps automatically yes if the soil moisture level decreases the pump can start automatically the farmer can start the irrigation system so it could be automatic so basically the more the important benefit is that the system farming becomes efficient as compared to conventional farming this is a important line now if i want to move towards smart farming one of the best way is use of iot now what is internet of thing now we are talking about internet internet is basically <coughs> a network now when we talk about internet we always visualize connecting the computers together for internet access if you want to access anything remotely well we can use internet maybe for downloading or for accessing emails or maybe you know, to watch movies or youtube channel or webinars and so on we require internet connection but here we are talking about internet of things that is anything any physical device can be connected together to the network they can be connected together in a network now what is required for that is the ability to transfer the data from any item that you like to connect to the internet to a network without human inter human intervention we don't requ require human to human or human to computer interaction at all if you want to make a sensor smarter sensor should be able to send the information directly to the internet so that you can access that information from anywhere in the world so that is the most important part now iot is basically a sensor network where billions of smart sensors or smart devices can be connected in the internet and naturally that will benefit the user the farmer well the scientist the uh, technician team who is uh, who are really involved in the developing the smart farming solutions and other people so basically what we require is collecting the information from billions of sensors for smart farming i always think about what is the benefit of iot iot helps you in connecting the physical world that means your farm say for example to the internet internet is basically a virtual world or you can use a digital world that is like computer right if you want to get information about your uh, farm you can get it on the computer digital world can be a computer a mobile or any other gadget right so the advantage of this is iot can help you to connect to any network that's the first important part at any time and anywhere any place so it is a ubiquitous network you can compute you can process the data anytime anywhere that's the most important aspect of iot now we would like to use this iot for smart farming so why should we go for iot in smart farming it is observed that there is a lot of gap between the demand of the food grains and the supply now to match this gap what we require is to increase the production you need a higher agricultural yield then the profitability to the farmer well we are facing a problem of uh, say farmers are not getting enough money after selling their grains 
So can we increase their profitability so that their survival will not be a problem? So we can help uh, help the farmers in increasing their profitability. We know that we are heavily dependent upon the rain or the climate change, right? So naturally, we can reduce the dependence on climate. The use of IoT can definitely not only help in enhancing the production of the crop or the food grains, right? It will help you in optimizing the natural resources and human resources together for profitability. And mm -hmm. if, you mm -hmm. if you reduce the cost of implementation, then we can call it as a precision agriculture. I don't want to spend more time on what could be the use of Internet of Things in agriculture, because uh, we have another expert, Dr. Sadista, who will be talking more about use of drone or maybe precision agriculture or what are, what are the other applications of, uh, say, IOTs in agriculture, including the smart greenhouses. So these are some of the applications of IOT. Now, suppose if I want to become expert in IOT and help the farmers in Indian scenario in our country, then what could be my role? Now, how can I take the benefit of IoT for my purpose? So let us identify the IoT can be used for your purpose if you focus it on few things. First, use IoT for tagging the things. What do you mean by tagging? If you have, say, uh, 10 goats or 10 cows with you, then you can attach RFID tag or some tag to the cow and you can monitor where the cow is moving in the farm, right? So monitoring, you don't have, you don't require a person to monitor everything. Even if you are producing some food grain, if you are sending the packets, like say, if you are sending the boxes of banana, if you are exporting it, naturally you can attach RFID and you can monitor their status in the transit, in the transportation. So you can use IoT, even the uh, transportation of your food grains or maybe food products. So first, you need to tag your food product, first thing. Second, you can think about, say, filling the things. Now, do I require to water my farm now? So I need to feel that, that okay, the whether uh, the soil is having proper moisture for the growth of plant or not. If it is not, so I must use some kind of sensor. So there are, so you should be able to feel that capability. So IoT can be used to give you that feeling that you can attach wireless sensor network and feel that okay, the temperature, well, it is a little bit colder or sufficient for crop growth and so on, so that you can think about. Second important aspect, third important aspect is, you cannot use big IoT devices, because if you want to operate IoT devices, it should not consume more power, because if you want battery operated devices, like button sales, these sales will be very tiny, and that can become a part of a product itself, that is embedded product. So you can use nanotechnology or shrinking devices such as that you can put it in various areas in your farm and get the information. So your sensors, embedded systems, or the networks can be very tiny. So focus is on shrinking the technology. And once you get that information, it should be communicated at any other place wherever the monitoring takes place. So you can connect it to the internet, so communication. So there you can introduce even the artificial intelligence. So there are a lot of things that you can do with IoT. So as I mentioned, you can have a tiny things for accessing or where the cattle is by with the help of RFIDs, or there could be some kind of real time tracing where the food packet is. So the tagging the things. So you these are the RFID tags and so on, those are available. 
Second, you can get the information about the in environment. What is the moisture? What is the humidity? What is the soil temperature? Maybe if you have a greenhouse, so you can monitor uh, even the pressure and several other parameters. So you can fill that parameter. Then the size is reducing. It becomes so tiny that it could become like a simple uh, your wristwatch. So sensors can be even smaller than that. So these IoT devices can be even so tiny that you can add their cost should be very low. If you have a smaller devices, it will help you in reducing the cost as well. And definitely I can use embedded system for internet connections, wireless connections and so on. Coming back to the electronics aspect and agricultural aspect, what can I measure with uh, these IoT devices in my smart farming, in my smart agriculture? Well, I'll take the example of measuring the uh, parameters related with the soil or knowing the weather conditions or maybe crop conditions whether the crop is growing sufficiently or not, right? Whether uh, I'd like to add some additional uh, fertilizer and so on. So I can have uh, different parameters, those could be monitored. Then if you know, there are certain parameters which are depend upon the environment, the water quality and so on, then definitely for smart farming solution, you should know the air quality as well as uh, water contained, water quality as well. Let's take a case study now. I think it will be appropriate if we focus it on, because IoT is a very vast area. So let us take some case study of monitoring the soil with the help of IoT. parameters, those could be monitored very easily. So for example, you can monitor the temperature, oxygen, basically weather condition, atmosphere around there, moisture contents in the soil, the temperature of the soil. Well, we require nitrogen, potassium, and several NPK parameters, pH of the soil, and uh, maybe if you want to determine the humidity and several other parameters, I can definitely talk about uh, a number of parameters. So it's a simple case study that we would like to start with. Internationally, there are smart farming solutions that are available. This is from Libellium, a simple IoT that's available, which is having a capability to get connected. This is smart, say, uh, device which is smaller than your tiny mobile, not the smartphone, but simple small mobile, which is having a capability of uh, communicating the data over the wireless to the router. Or you can even have a GSM capability such as that you can get the information directly to your mobile. So that is also possible. Then what are the things that you can monitor in such scenario? You can monitor the surface temperature. Well, which can help you to measure the temperature of the soil or the crop. Then you can monitor the soil moisture. Then you can have different uh, multiple sensors which can measure the moisture contents, conductivity, water content, soil temperature, and different parameters like this. So these are commercially available. But if I'm an electronics person or a computer professional, my interest would be focusing on developing such system at low cost. So is it really possible? So what could be the use of IoT specifically in agriculture for smart farming? We know that you can monitor the soil moisture and temperature. You can control the water pumps for irrigation purpose. You can definitely get information about the soil, 
weather and so on. You can talk about even the health of the crop, such a way that you can efficiently control the amount of water that is given to the soil or the amount of fertilizer because a, a providing extra fertilizer will not only cost you, but the land will become useless if I use fertilizer, more fertilizer. So basically organic farming is nowadays new trend that is coming up where you can reduce the use of fertilizers, chemical fertilizers and so on. You can use cow dung specifically for organic farming. You can reduce the pesticides as well. So basically IoT can be used for these three main purposes. In addition to that, you can monitor the storage because whatever the food grain that's available, that should be stored somewhere before it is transported. So there has to be some kind of a cold chain. It depends upon what kind of food quality that you are uh, or, uh, food uh, that you are providing. You require some chain management system and so on. You should be able to track your products where they are. Now, there, there are other applications, like say, what whenever you are sending your product to some other say city, like say from Jalgaon or Chopra to Mumbai, or maybe to Madhya Pradesh, Gurunpur, or any other place nearby, maybe near in Gujarat, anywhere, you should be able to track whether it is transported to a destination or not. So that kind of a tracking is possible. In addition to that, now. Our country is moving towards electronic oh, money. So rather than spending money on regular data, say uh, using a hard cash, you can have an electronic transfer. So as you can see, that people are getting the money directly transferred from the purchaser to the farmer directly without any uh, intermediate person who can take out certain money. We are facing a problem of uh, several persons who is really taking a part of the money. The money is not directly reaching from the customer to the farmer, but intermediate people are taking the money unnecessarily. That's why the farmers are suffering. Now here you can have now direct money transfer to the farmer's account. Now, this is a diagram which we had used specifically for developing IoT for farming applications. And we have identified few simple sensors for the application. We had used a simple low cost Arduino microcontroller, Arduino board. Then we have uh, interfaced pressure sensor, humidity, temperature sensor, gas sensors, light sensors, soil moisture sensor. So these are few sensors, those are used then whatever the parameters that you are acquiring through this Arduino board are displayed locally as well as those could be sent over the wireless but the problem of wireless if i have different such iot nodes at different places well i have to put a wireless router somewhere for collecting the information so if my farm is too big for collecting the information and wireless router may not have that range, then you can use directly the GSM modem, which can send the data directly to the cloud, directly via internet to the cloud. And you can use different clouds, specifically ThinkSpeak. But in Indian context, I'm going to definitely tell you in my concluding remark about what kind of cloud that is recommended for the farmers today. We are not talking about for the development, but should be easily accessible to the farmers as well. Now, as you can look at several sensors which are available in the market and that you can try in your colleges or maybe in your laboratory, like soil moisture sensors are available, ATM pressure sensors are available, DHT 11 sensor is available, or there could be a multiple soil parameter measuring sensor, seven in one integrated soil sensor that is also available. It hardly has five pins, which can collect information from different uh, these pins about NPK, pH, EC, 
temperature, humidity, well moisture that we know, these all parameters can easily be monitored. Now, whenever we are measuring the parameters, the nitrate, phosphor, and potassium are to be monitored only twice in a day because there is a problem, big data problem for such kind of IoT systems because you would be collecting the huge information because sensors, if I use, uh, say, uh, sampling, sampling should not be too high. Well, if you want to measure the temperature, well, you may monitor once in a day or maybe once in an hour, maybe one, twice or five times an hour, depending upon what parameters that would be deciding based on this temperature. So whatever the frequency that I have decided for our project is not much. You may check the soil moisture frequently as well as the temperature. Others, well, you can have once or twice measurement of NPK parameters very easily. And once and twice is sufficient for the measurement. Coming back now to the problems. Now we talked about advantages, plus points of IoT, but if you want to implement IoT in, in the Indian context, there are certain problems in the agriculture scenario. What is happening? Maybe 10, 20 years back, my father was having say four acres of area. Now I'm having two or three brothers now. Now the land will be later on divided after 10, 15 years into three or four sections. So it will become small. So what is happening? The land holding is becoming smaller and smaller, right? Second, the complexity in Indian scenario is really very difficult. Now, the size, well, even though it, was, it is having a huge farming farms, but now the uh, data management becomes a problem. There's a problem of privacy as well as security. In rural area, the internet availability is another problem, or even if you have an internet connection, well, the connectivity is very poor, the bandwidth is less. So it is another problem that we always face. One more aspect, problem that we have seen is that Uh, Kulkarni sir, please unmute yourself. Okay, there are certain uh, problems. Okay. Yes, can you hear? Yes, yes. Can you hear yeah, me now? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. I was talking about specifically the yes, cloud that is available yeah. for Indian context. It's a Krishi cloud. And here, farmers are getting information on normal phones. This is uh, on Indian scenario. Nabad is involved in it. Nafed is involved in it. Then you get weather forecasting information on not necessarily smartphone, but a traditional phones can be used for such applications. So we will definitely take the advantage of Krishi Cloud. Coming to the end of the session now, I would like to talk about the future aspects. When we talk about the Farming in Indian context, I know that the land area is reducing day by day per farmer. So what could be done, even though it could be, but you can have a cooperative movement and we are known for cooperative movement, cooperative farming, cooperative agriculture and so on. So naturally we can take the advantage. The areas can be divided as you can see here, specifically the Tractors can be used in which could be really connected via internet. So farmer can have a control on automation, automated farming. Very small tractors could be used. 
you can have uh, cows which are tagged you can monitor their movement and so on you can get the farming data in warehouses maybe you can use drones specifically for spreading the pesticides or maybe you can have basically uh, certain small robots for collecting the farm yields and well those could be delivered to the trucks which could be carrying your uh, uh, food products to remote places so these are basically things integrated development that is possible with the help of iot now this this is another uh, example where you can have a internet playing an important role in connecting the sensors anything so that's why iot internet of things is basically internet of things is telling you that you can connect anything to the internet that's the basic uh, thing about internet thank you any questions thank you sir we are welcoming some questions from our participants you can ask any question this session is open for questions you can ask any question please well i know we are uh, living in the era of sir, digital things so there could be quite zero sir, or one sir cloud ke cloud ke bare mein bataiye sir one question is coming from our student yes azim you can uh, ask now sir krishi cloud ke bare mein bataiye ha uh, krishi cloud is basically the initiative of government of india ministry of agriculture where they have connected different servers all these bubbles which are uh, shown here are indicating that that these are basically different servers which are connected together to form a cloud now basically we are keeping government is keeping the information about say what, uh, how how much area is under cultivation specifically for maybe uh, cotton or maybe for banana and so on so that is about the directory services those are kept in the server if you want more information about weather forecast there is a server that is dedicated for weather forecast then the finance if you want to uh, take the loan from banks and so on then nabard can give you basically information about how much loan that you can have for your crop and so on if you require information about carrying out ana analyzing your soil or water contents there is a farmer portal that is available then for news bulletin or if the farmers are having any, any questions well the farmer can ask this question to kisan sanchar well these are such an artificial intelligence based bots those are available there are experts available not 24 by 7 but at least 8 to 10 hours in a day so farmer can ask directly the questions another aspect is after post harvesting what is the rate at which the farmer can sell his food products you can get the rate directly you can talk about the market rates of cotton or banana today so this is basically obtain uh, basically it's a initiative of uh, government of india all government agencies and private agencies those are coming together yeah uh, you can get uh, loans from different banks so these are all integrated on a krishi cloud thank right? you sir hello okay and is it uh, free of cost available for farmers yes, uh, yes it is free of free of cost to pay for it sir no no you don't have to pay anything for this you you can see that 
if you send a message, uh, you can get the information about, uh, uh, say, any parameter that you are interested in. Just visit uh, Krishi Cloud, search on Google about Krishi Cloud. You'll get a lot of services those are provided by Government of India. Okay. Any other question from participant side? Okay, I think uh, no more question from participants. So we, we can move uh, forward. So I would like to uh, request Dr. Next guest, Professor Dr. S. -S Right, sir. Uh, thank you, Dr. L. V. Patel, sir. Am I audible to all? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, good afternoon, all. From the Fraternity of Electronic Science, it's a great pleasure for me to introduce our student speaker, who is going to talk to us about e-agriculture, use of smart technology. That's this is the subject we deeply interested because it offers strong potential for driving economic growth and raising incomes among the rural poor through increased efficiency of agriculture production. Our speaker is a chief scientist and head of social outreach, CPS Siri Pilani. He completed his doctor of philosophy in the subject of electronic science. He has 32 years of experience in developing of real intelligent and embedded systems design and application for water, agro and power sector. He performed many duties such as work as a visiting scientist in department of biosystem engineering, University of Manitoba, Winnipeg, Canada on the development of sensors technology for agriculture and grain storage application. He also participated as a member of Indian delegation from DST India for Indo-Dutch water expert meeting from April 18 to 21st, 2011 at Utrecht University, Netherlands. According to the program cooperation between India, DST and Netherlands, he has got a patent on equipment for the time sharing of a single common motors starting with more, more number of AC motors approved in 1998. He got numerous awards for his exceptional work such as received prestigious Scotch award among India's best in 2015 in smart technology for auto, RO automation for rural India. Villagers of Rajasthan in 2015 from smart tech award on 11th December he also received prestigious excellence in development of technology for water and aqua award in 2014 from aqua foundation new delhi he also received best paper award in second international symposium on physics and technology of sensor that is cmat pune in the year 2015 he also received dr g n acharya running trophy for the best process product in the year 1992 he also guided many students for the research publications and for the PhD, B.Tech, B, M.Tech, M.Sc. and M.C.A. He also published many research uh, papers in international and national journal and conferences. So, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Dr. Sashikan Sadistap, sir. Over to you, sir. Uh, thank you. <clears throat> so, so, first of all, let me thank uh, MGSM uh, Art Science Commerce College Chopra uh, for having a, such a good, uh, you know, topic, a relevant topic at the really, uh, right time because India required such kind of uh, technology uh, application, real time application in agriculture and particularly in rural sector in India, rural India. Also, I am thankful to Chairperson uh, Dr. Sandeep Patil. Principal Dr. Suryamshi, uh, my friend, HOD colleague, Dr. A.L. Choudhury, and Dr. Lalchan Patle. 
for giving me opportunity to share uh, my experience of this uh, in this field for last 20 25 years uh, to uh, with the students so basically uh, what i want to say i am sharing that is my experience in this agriculture whatever we have and it will be really helpful for the students because mostly students uh, of college may be from the rural sectors and now india according to uh, the latest document of dstn uh, government for vision 2035 india so most of the technology interventions and applications has been proposed for particularly rural sector of india so with that uh, small introduction let me start uh, my presentation so is it audible hello Yes, sir. You are on. Yeah, it's So now uh, today's topic is e agriculture use of smart technology. Now my colleague and friend uh, Dr. N. N. Kulkarni already has given introduction about IoT and so so many uh, things he has covered uh, regarding problems and all this thing. Now I will not go in details about that repeatedly so that. to avoid the uh, our time of uh, presentation so next is that as a in background in agriculture you know very well that 67% is a rural part of india and majority if you see that uh, gdp of india 15% gdp is contributed by only agricultures but the main problem as we know that most of the this land at present current situation marginal or small farmer is dominating it so major crops are like rice wheat maize coarse cereals groundnut cotton etc and out of which you know 60% of cultivated area is rain fed so this is a big problem in india particularly though we have so many rivers but still majority of the part is rain fed and uh, irrigate though the government has already started most um, big irrigation schemes in rural sector also but still it has to cover a large area still further so and uh, at uh, 2020 document you can see that the rural poverty is uh, almost 41% in last decade okay so what can i can say that agriculture is a st uh, state subject the policies and processes are also important to uh, successfully application of agriculture and technology in india so if you see the vision document so i can just highlight uh, some main of the points so basically the agriculture department in uh, central government agricultural state has given guidelines guidelines about vision document in vision document and what technologies particularly are required <coughs> that already highlighted so first you can see that it and sms based extension and weather reports already nitin uh, kulkarni has suggested some weather station etc so i will not go in details then emphasis on precision and organic farming that's the second objective then up third is that increase in productivity because of the to feed uh, more, more than 125 billion people okay and then soil testing lab this is the main important thing the government of india already started distributing the soil testing kits developed by iits and csr system at a very low cost and the, the, these are available in mostly gram panchayat now the young students who want to be become like a entrepreneur he can do that kind of services by using this kit to for soil testing at least because uh, previously if you want a farmer want to test soil he has to give sample to the lab which is usually situated at district place and it takes almost 15 days to get the results so at present the soil testing should be done within a day or at the glance so that the farmers get benefited the what they can do and why they can do it so this kind of services is possible only you have a point to point testing units okay then uh, next one is reduce agriculture volatility by promoting by dry farming and smart irrigation so why smart irrigation as you know in india uh, water is a problem it becoming a crisis now in maharashtra also you might you might know might have been known that ki marathwada and most of the region the water is really a, for farming is becoming a problem you now you know because you can get land you can have anything but you do not have water sufficient water so what we, farmers has to do is they have to go for their regular farming to advanced farming technique where 
the crops usually grown under less water is important and second thing is now using the irrigation smart irrigation technology how you can reduce the use of water the quantity of water that is important so what you can say that at glance major issues like climate and water management timely availability of quality inputs value addition quality improvement soil and seed health and this is new okay many people do not have that information even small farmers do not know what kind of seeds should be available whatever they have seeds they are growing but nowadays government of india has started this program many people do not know that's why that uh, krishi website has been developed so the farmers can get uh, at less cost very good quality of seeds so that they can have a good product and then r and d in agriculture lab the research lab so whatever uh, technology has been developed in iits central universities uh, csr labs r and d labs so it should reach to the farmers that is the main goal okay and then special attention to the rain fed uh, areas so these are the main issues which are, which are highlighted in 2025 2035 vision document of india now if you uh, see that uh, small farmer holders small farmer holders means the usually the farmers having area less than 1 hectare so you can say 2.5 acres okay in short so 2.5 acres to 5 acres are small farmers so if you see that uh, 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 small farmers one challenge is globalization challenges second because of prices international prices community prices and so and so forth already we are not, not going to details but because of uh, integration of value chains and supermarkets presence so this is challenging so now even though the government of india started that farmers can sell directly to the users still it is not reaching to each and every farmers the benefit is not reaching to each and every farmer so how you can reach that iot can play a major role i mean i am going to come to that point then impact of kind <clears throat> change climate change is already explained water problem uh, excuse me sir and uh, ha huh, yes Yeah. So this, yeah, sir. Sorry to interrupt. Your uh, slide is not changing. No, no. I am changing. No, no, no. I will not change at at present. I am changing now. Okay. okay. Diversity okay. challenges, etc. Now this is next slide. Okay. Now the thrust area is what? What is the thrust area for IoT? So one is soil health. Okay. Wow. How we can have a on the field soil uh, quality analysis by using different kits. or by embedded systems and directly you can give the data to the farmers on mobile phone okay so soil health management second thing is conjugative use of water that is water management how you can reduce the water uses okay for pumping operation particularly pumping operation using drip irrigation system sprinkler irrigation system how you can reduce the quantity of water okay so just like human being if you feed less it's problem if you feed more it is problem similarly for crop you have to give a optimal water use you should not give more or you it should not be less second thing is quality input like npk nitrogen phosphorus potassium so based on the soil health you should automatically give guidance that how much nutrient to be added before you know uh, making the crop what kind of crop to be selected so every information is available but unfortunately it is not reaching each and every farmer so this is the main problem then increasing the net cultivated area how because small farmers are there now here the idea of integrated farming is started so government of india is now putting the stress on integrated farming so suppose in a village 10 farmers are there each individual farmer is doing everything separately so naturally the cost will everybody has to pay x plus y plus z so you know the those farmer community is there so they have to spend individually but if you do it integratedly then naturally the cost will be divided by number of farmers and then the farmers input cost will be reduced so that is what the goal of the government how you can use iot and smart technology by using services not because farmers cannot purchase all this kind of equipments or technology so can you this uh, our uh, msc student or phd student can start service oriented uh, applications in particular villages okay so this kind of uh, approaches are uh, been welcome by using startups utilization of agriculture infrastructure and cost effective tools and then this is main important area rain water harvesting in maharashtra it is not becoming popular but in rajasthan it is popular 
not only household but also uh, uh, farmers are now collecting water the surface water in the land so now this approach should be utilized because already the rain is less but if you implement rain water harvesting to collect water so sufficient water can be collected up to 60000 to 80000 liter on which the farmers can grow the crops like uh, vegetables okay and they can earn uh, the income when there is no rainy season so this way we can improve the life of the farmers next so if you say today's technology is mostly mechanical or electrical hardware oriented manual on site control independent user and environment demanding unpredictable quality and quantity so now we are moving to the tomorrow which is mostly information based system smart system soft mostly software oriented automatic remote control network like iot and smart machines user and environmental friendly predictable in quality what is important is predictable quality and quantity so then only the farmers will get right cost and right money for their income <clears throat> next if you see the precision agriculture the this term is not new what is precision agriculture doing the right thing in right place and at right time okay this is important so this is not been done many part of the india because the farmers do not have that kind of knowledge so how we can do right thing means watering cultivation cropping etc right thing right place right place means which place suitable place and at right time so that cultivation cropping seeding etc should be if it is done in right time then only you can have a good quality production and uh, farmers benefit to enhance productivity in agri agriculture prevent soil degradation this is important precision farming prevent the soil degradation in cultivated land reduction in chemical use this is another important issue so how you can uh, uh, go for organic farming that is more important and then efficient use of water resources etc naturally if you see the advantage of precision agriculture so use of agr agronomical practices by looking at specific requirement of crop so crop specific agro environment so this is one then next is technical is allow efficient time management third is environmental friendly and fourth is economical perceptive so these are the advantage of the precision uh, agriculture so if you see that opportunity now uh, if i say that iot and smart uh, technology or electronics opportunity if you see that it will be from input soil health soil management for water Hello. irrigation water management energy how you can use uh, solar energy wind energy ha uh, yeah hello please sir slide are not changing no i am not changing the slide i am just okay. discussing okay. don't worry i am i have control okay 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 fine fine okay don't worry that slides so i am i am no the slides is changing okay so water energy third is energy how we can save the electricity billing of the farmers right electricity bill of the farmers so if you see that seeds animals fertilizers pesticides fungicides and equipments if all these are to be at present not connected with electronics so how you can connect this with electronics and iot so that the every user hill every farmer will be benefited to have right information at right time second thing is crop at laboratory field and field so if you see this chains uh, from micro tillage to build uh, seed placement then crop care fertilization irrigation weeding then harvesting so this even in the animal husbandry or in a fish aquacultures livestock etc in fisheries fish management so these are all the part of the agriculture okay whether it is crop livestock or fisheries so all where the, there is a need of electronics connectivity whatever equipments today are lying there are electronics but they are not having connectivity of iot they do not have information sharing to everybody each and everybody so that each and everybody will be benefited under the integrated management concept next is storage now storage houses are limited so those are not also connected so people do not know how much storage is there most of the uh, you, you, you might have seen that most of the crops stores get wasted because they are lying for 3 years without any treatment so then food and manufacturing process and lastly is retailer so if you see this is value chain so there is in my opinion there is every place there is a opportunity of iot where you can have a sensors 
uh, systems and actuators to take a right thing, right decision at the right time to implement this IoT based smart agriculture. Now, next slide. So if you see that uh, smart farming architecture, so already Nitin has explained, there are so many sensors you can use. Okay. So optical sensors like moisture sensors, chemical content, fertilizers of soil, some of electrochemical sensors are available in India. So pH, nutrient of soil specific, etc. So I am not going to do again that explanation already Nitin has explained. So how that this kind of smart agriculture can be achieved with the help of drones, the sensors, systems, and with a mobile app, right? Now, this here is a new picture. Now, this is not thought of. What is meant by integrated agriculture? So like in a gram panchayat, here in Rajasthan, there are at least seven villages. In Maharashtra, there are eight to 10 villages. So if you see, now think about instead of village, you can see the gram panchayat. Now, how you can have a gram panchayat, which will have a server, all the IoT based equipments and, and that can be controlling all that six, seven villages. So if in a particular in Rajasthan, one village having around 100, 100 to 150 hectares. Okay. So if you have five villages, naturally it is a thousand hectares. So for such implementing such kind of technology, IoT and all these things, what you require is a crop based domain is crop details, weather information, soil information, pest detail, fertilizers, Productation information, irrigation information, cattle. So all this input from where from agriculture expert, agriculture officers, or farmers individual. So this is a cloud which the Nitin has already uh, explained you. What the government has already declared this cloud. So you have all this data available to the farmers and the, for the scientists and technocrats. This data can be used to monitor, analyze, plan, execute, and take action. Okay, so this is a cyber physical system. The new term is coming like cyber physical system, which includes AI, IoT, and solution at larger scale. So using the IoT and all devices, you can have a cyber physical system where you write from the field to monitor, analyze, planning, execution, and then management at every places. So this is a total picture of cyber physical system. Okay. So this is has to be taught by teachers for MSc students. Okay. So this is my request to all professors that cyber physical system in introduction should be there. So if you take the IoT now next, how IoT is helping at present current scenario. So this application already electronic traceability solution in agriculture. This already has been implemented in India, in South, particularly Hyderabad and Tamil Nadu for rice applications. So you can have a information that just like I uh, Nitin said, cattle being having tag or every crop having information, animal or crop, every having information, then what kind of um, medical treatment has been given by other for plant or animals that can be also, the, what is the farm management, how much farm, what are the crops details, how much productivity is there, how much losses are there due to the environment, all this information will be there. Then what kind of transport is available? This is main value chain addition. How this transport cost can be minimized? So that can be useful by only this getting data analysis and all processing. Adaptive and package. So right from value, farm to transportation, to warehouse, then processing, food processing, packaging, and shop. So this is a value chain addition. So this is a big picture where the IoT can play a big role with the AI and cyber physical system. So what is the benefit for small producers, like small farmers or producers, more stable procurement. That means they have sustainable income, stable production. What is the consumable? Consumable will get, consumers get good quality uh, food at uh, sub, uh, substantial prices and peace of mind. So because the, there will not be uh, any kind of, uh, you know, so you have a pure kind of products. So what is the farmers and householder? Increased sales. So naturally, their sales will be increased. Excuse me, sir. Sorry, sorry for interruption. Haan, sir, many participants are sending messages that uh, they are not able to see your screen. Can you please uh, stop the screen and again present the screen? 
okay okay let me let me probably due to network issue your okay, voice is clear again. but the screen yeah okay 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 let us see Now is it visible? Hello. Yes, sir. Now visible. Ha. Uh, now, now, uh, now let me get feedback from where they have not able to see which slide. So just I'm scrolling. This is first. This is second. Okay. This is third. It is now. Are they able to see it? Scrolling is done. This is third slide. This is fourth. No. uh at my screen there is no slide no scrolling the screen no sir now anybody uh, dr choudhary are you able to see it sir i am not seeing your slide here ha huh? not visible no, sir no sir no sir i am not able to see your slide why just uh, again try stop the sharing and again continue let me share screen is this screen is visible हेलो स्क्रीन इज विजिबल सर बट योर स्लाइड्स आर नॉट सीन फ्रॉम नहीं 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 अभी अभी स्क्रीन तो दिख रहा है क्या पहले बताओ यस अभी मैं स्लाइड मोड में जा रहा हूं ठीक है स्लाइड शो स्टार्ट फ्रॉम बिगिनिंग अभी आ रहा है स्क्रीन नो सर नो व्हाई इट इज सो ओके हां हेलो सर सर योर स्क्रीन इज इन डुप्लीकेट मोड और एक्सटेंडेड मोड नो नॉट डुप्लीकेट ओनली वन स्क्रीन इज देयर ओके एक मिनट जस्ट आई विल जस्ट सी ऑल स्क्रीन आई विल शेड लेट अस सी okay okay again i'm restarting it okay okay fine एक मिनट हम्म 
now are you able to see it hello it is loading yes sir it is loading only ho gaya kya load ho gaya abhi hello nahi sir kya ho raha hai so mere yahan to sab dikh raha hai blank screen is there blank screen blank screen ah. here uh, center no, mein uh, no slide uh, has started screen sharing okay sir are you presenting on lcd projector also side by side nahi 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 kar raha hu wo actually tumhara yahan jo option aa raha hai na jo windows i am not able to get uh, jo main share yahan dikh raha hai wo kar raha hu lekin meri screen nahi aa rahi isliye tumhe problem aa raha hai shayad okay okay multiple window aa gayi hai mere yahan pe tumhare yahan se control kaise kar sakte hain yahan mera problem wahi lag raha hai mujhe kyunki main jo share kar raha hu वो नहीं दिख रहा है एक मिनट रुको मल्टीपल होता है का मतलब बंद करून नंतर चालू करा सकते हैं नहीं नहीं आता ए ए काय झाले में ते का मल्टीपल शेअर आता बघ ही येती का बघ बरं सम शेअर के नंतर बघ काय थी ओके आणि विंडो मी सगळ्या बंद केल्या हां सगळ्या बंद केल्या का नवीन रीस्टार्ट कर नवीन रीओपन करून मग नंतर शेअर करा दाखत नहीं है स्क्रीन का गड़बड़ है हाँ आता जाली का जिससे का हेलो हेलो स्क्रीन दिस तो है आता स्लाइड आता बघा स्टार्टेड स्क्रीन शेअरिंग असेल आता दिसते का हॅलो नाही नाही स्क्रीन शेअरिंग एवढं फक्त यु आर स्क्रीन शेअरिंग असं लिहिलं लाईव्ह बरोबर आहे इथं तर माहित आहे ते सगळं नाही इकडे मी अच्छा ये बग, आता बग बर आता इतनी का हेलो नहीं हॅलो नाही सर नाही सर नाही अजून पडले सर वो जो पीपीटी आहे ना तो उसको शेअर कर देंगे चौधरी सर चलेगा चलेगा ठीक आहे मी अभि भेज देतो ॲक्च्युली पीपीटी ही गडबड म्हणजे समज मी नाही यहा से किंवा ऐसा फॉर्म दिसत ओके सर यू कॅन सेंड एक मिनिट हा
बहुतेक नेट चा प्रॉब्लेम असा मला असं वाटतंय कारण की की इथं तर दाखवते आहे सगळं काय 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 ठीक आहे एक मिनिट मला मेल केला तर चालेल मग मेल इतना करतो हो चाल चाल मी मेलच करतो तुला हो चाल रिप्लाय येईल चौधरी बघतो मी आता कुठली अटॅच होती एखादा पीडीएफ फाईल किंवा झाली तरी चालेल ठीक आहे जीमेल ला करा सर एक लोड होती है फाइल मस्त बार बार एक्चुअली मैं तुला आधी पाठ सॉरी इश्यू कभी कभी नो प्रॉब्लम नो प्रॉब्लम टेक्निकल टेक्नोलॉजी बल का मेल इतना गेली एक मिनट शेयर कर मग काय ठीक आहे ना आय थिंक दॅट विल बी गुड म्हणजे प्रॉब्लेम नाही ना सॉरी फॉर इंटरव्हशन नाही पहिले सर म्हणत होते पाटले सर की होत नाही पण मला लक्षात नाही आलं इथनं तर होत आहे म्हटलं एनिवे इथे मायक्रोसॉफ्ट टीम मध्ये एक प्रॉब्लेम कमी येतो असा आम्ही सगळं सी एस आर मध्ये टीमच वापरतो त्यामुळे टीम मध्ये एवढा प्रॉब्लेम येत नाही स्क्रीन स्क्रीन
होती है क्या स्क्रीन हेलो चौधरी हाँ सर हो रही बस लेट एक मिनट ओके दिख रहे जी हाँ प्रेजेंटेशन नहीं आया दिख मुझे दिख नहीं रही अभी आई एम नॉट एबल टू सी ये दिस इज व्हाट आई एम इट इज डॉक्टर पाटले हैज शेयर दैट इज व्हाट बेस आई एम गेटिंग आज जो जो कब आए होती पुणे राइट टेक्नोलॉजी है Uh, this is what I'm. I'm not able to see it now. The same thing I'm. What you people are seeing. Yeah, I'm not able. <laughs> okay. Just now you can see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now let me uh, try to share from my side again. Okay. Uh, is everyone visible, sir? Uh huh. सारे पार्टिसिपेंट बोल रहे विजिबल है अभी आपकी तरफ नहीं आ रहा अच्छा चलो आई एम मैं बोलता जाऊंगा आप वहाँ स्क्रीन और स्कोर के लीजिए मैं यहाँ से बोलता जाऊंगा ठीक है ठीक है सर आप स्लाइड नंबर बोल दीजिए मैं वो अभी आगे 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 ना इट इज कमिंग ओके Okay. Okay. Now it is coming. Okay. I know. Okay. I don't know how it has come, but I can't believe it. <laughs> okay. Now uh, let us start again. Uh, so now it is good day, and uh, Chaudhary. And now let us start with quickly. So mainly the thrust area of, uh, according to the government of India, the thrust area is uh, soil health, water management, then seed quality, and uh, of course uh, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, etc. then net cultivated how to uh, increase the net cultivated cultivable area and then improving the economic and uh, uh, development index etc so utilization of agriculture infrastructure this is one important point right utilization of agriculture infrastructure and cost effective tools that was i was explaining that instead of village level we can think about a gram panchayat level and you people like like msc and people who want to do as a entrepreneur they can do services to use Uh, give this kind of tool, IoT tools or AI tools, because they are not affordable by small farmers. So you can start with this startup to make this uh, services to the large community of the farmers, right? And the particularly, I, I as I told that rainfed cultivation, because the uh, in India more than sixty percent is rainfed cultivation. So rainwater harvesting. Now people in Rajasthan already started rainwater harvesting uh, for drinking water as well as for the farming. so in the maharashtra also where the rainfall is less the people farmers can have a small ponds in a uh, uh, agri field itself so they can able to uh, generate i think uh, around 1 lakh liters of water so forth depending on rainfall and that can be used for the vegetable growing and etc right the next slide now there is a control from your side now <laughs> yeah now almost you know Uh, uh, today almost we are using electrical or mechanical systems uh, mostly are manual uh, manual controls and on site control so now we are moving to the as i told you now information based systems software based systems automatic remote control uh, more uh, importantly network smart machines okay and user friendly environmental user friendly so that we can have a predictable quality and quantity that is important point i want to stress here next slide
Yeah. So precision agriculture, as I told you, that uh, the precision agriculture means doing right thing in right place and at right time. This is important. And to do this, naturally, we require smart devices, IoT, and electronics, the use of electronics everywhere. So whatever machinery is at present available, whether they are electrical, handheld, so that should be converted by electronics means and IoT to get benefit of IoT data to each and every farmers to do every work in the field, right thing, right place, and right time. So naturally, we have advantages of I this precision agriculture in agronomic, agronomical perspective that increasing this uh, agronomical practices by specific requirement of crop. So depending upon the soil, waterfall, you have to decide the crop so that the value will be benefited and to the farmers will get, are going to get real benefit out of it, right? Then the technical, basically time management. So here the pumping time will be reduced. So naturally electricity bill will be reduced. Okay. And then environmental perspective that it should be eco-friendly so that whatever the waste is there in the agriculture. So nowadays the government of India already started uh, waste to wealth. So that kind, that kind of crop waste can be also used for the useful benefit. Right. And then economical perspective that so that the farm input, that means the, every farmers has to pay less so that they uh, they get uh, what you can say benefit out of their production so that is the what the goal and purpose of this uh, indian farming uh, futuristic indian farming okay next slide next slide please uh, so already i uh, told you that this is a typical picture in agriculture if you see that right from input like whether it is soil water energy the, for the crops, similarly for seeds, then livestock, animals, fertilizers, pesticides, fungicides, and equipments. So you in agriculture, basically there are three, three areas like crops management, livestock management, and third is fisheries. So all these farms are available in India. And uh, at the output stage, once it is there, then the storage, like control atmospheric storages, uh, go-downs should be uh, electronically controlled with environmental control so that the wastages in the go down will be reduced. Then food manufacturing process and then retailer. So this is a total chain where I am telling you that not only IoT, but AI and CPS, cyber physical system is going to play an important role. Electronics is going to play an important role. So everywhere you can have either handheld devices or maybe small devices or mobile devices with IoT so that every information gathered will be useful to the farmers by any means. Next slide. So as uh, Nitin Kolkani already told, what is the smart farming architecture in IoT? Particularly you have sensors, right? Moisture sensor, chemical sensors, PS, TDS, soil, etc. And then everything is connected by GPS or IoT. Then drones can be used for making in a short time because at present, if you see that visual inspection, it takes a days or a week or sometimes it month. So now how we can reduce the time of the this uh, um, observations and taking decisions. So by using the drone as a tool, we can uh, certainly reduce the time and the cost of the investment of the farmer. So if you have one, uh, if you see that total IoT architecture, we have sensors, seeds, then drones, actuators, Energy, that this is also important you know, because now electricity, many villages, electricity will not be available. And most of the uh, agriculture pumps are three-phase. So three-phase energy will not be available when, uh, at the time. So now how you can go for solar, okay? Now solar, wind energy also, or maybe a hybrid of solar energy and electricity. And then infrastructure, pipe joints, as you know, pipe joints, storage tanks also have leakage problems. So water losses and so many. So you, sometimes you have a dirty water. So that water should be filtered properly so before it is sending to the agriculture. So most of the time in the irrigation, this kind of filters, smart filters have been used. So next slide. So if you see that as I discussed you, uh, that what we required in a, uh, that, AI is a cyber physical system in agriculture. So 
we have a domain what are domain crop domain weather information soil information pest information fertilizer information production information irrigation information cattle information equipment what are the equipments available how they are available timely available where to use all this information is fed by either agriculture experts or individual officer or individual farmers now this database is already available as nitin sir told this is already now government of india made a portal so where you can have data that can be by used by for processing this is called big data analysis by using ai and statistical technique you have a classification um, data integration data conversion data reduction and depending upon the uh, agriculture need you have a automation data so you have ground data monitoring analyzing planning and then execution so that you have a effectiveness so what we are going to get quality of management where automatic resource management resource management resource scheduling performance modeling so what is the outcome that the farmers will are going to get benefited by using this cyber physical system as a concept in the not only villages i am saying that in the gram panchayat and and the gram panchayat as i told you in rajasthan in the one gram panchayat there are 6 to 7 villages around 1000 hectare uh, agriculture area so in maharashtra also you can think about many areas in a gram panchayat there will be more than 500 hectares or 600 hectares so if, if all the farmers are executing this kind of culture through the government and the uh, ngos okay not non government organizations or skill development program so certainly the smart farming and iot will have a big impact now let us see some of the examples next slide so this is one example which is already implemented in uh, outside india as well as in india particularly in south for particular rice and all this and in maharashtra also some area this already an example where you have a cloud data management you have a customers whether importer exporters etc and at the same baseline everything is connected like cattle or crop machineries medicines farms agents transportation food processing or crop processing then adaptives packaging and delivery so everything if you see from companies reseller and customers so this is a totally a chain value chain so this all it been connected with iot iot with infrastructure and cyber physical system is already connected now already these are uh, we are getting the good results in some of the areas now right from the farm to the retailers so this chain what how is this again planning plant seeding and cultivation uh, cultivation diary then transportation management how efficiently you can transport within less time with uh, less expenditures warehouse management where you can stock in a good quality and you can reduce the wastage in the go downs then processing how you can reduce the processing cost with the timely processing the things packaging just like i nitin sir said tagging and packaging so that you have a quality gear and then retailers so finally retailers get time in a time all the quality products and what what are they going to benefit if you see the small farmers farmers are going to be increase sales so that get they will, they are going to get regular economy regular money then st uh, stable linkages so they get a stable market at present this stable market is not available to small farmers what are the consumers consumers are going to get a good quality food at right price what is a small producer the small producer get the stable production and stable um, market and what is the exporters so they get a good money by uh, selling the quality foods from india right next solution next slide so this is another solution crop knowledge bank so this already demonstrated in by andhra pradesh in maharashtra so like uh, nagpur ccri you know citrus industry that is orange so already they have knowledge bank about how much uh, citrus or how much crops uh, rice is there so right from the field data you should see field data then there is a, a training and also this cell so that farmers are not trained to use up this iot so how you can start this training to the farmer by using online knowledge online or offline knowledge. sometimes 
the ngos and the government officials like gram panchayats are getting the workshop or training place by offline knowledge distribution and then you have print media and etc so what you find that 1 2 3 4 all these are connected intermediately to help the farmers so the farmers now at present the so tomorrow farmers will have each and every information at his device so that you may have a rice doctor like crop doctor a mobile phone and data so which is not there at last decade so each and every small farmer if get this information certainly he can grow the crop at right time he can sell the crop at the right time he will get the money right in right time that, that is what the advantage of this technology iot already is implemented i am not saying that it is to be implemented already it is implemented is example next slide next hello yes sir next kar diya nahi ja rahi nahi ja rahi is this slide move nahi ho rahi abhi hello ha hello ha sir ha slide move nahi ho rahi next slide <laughs> Okay. Ah, yeah. yeah yeah please yeah yes now now it is okay. okay is this slide sir yeah yeah please yes now smart water management so this is the one area now already that uh, you know uh, government of india already started the uh, river rejoining right in maharashtra already godavari and all are rejoining process already done now the the how this smart water management this is a big in you know, question how that is going to be operate already it is implemented in uh, western godavari like hyderabad and some part of tamil nadu and some part in western gujarat right so you have a water resources now just like your stock so similarly you have a water banks the concept is you have a water banks and each farmer or each will have a id okay you have a card with him just like you know railway station if you go you have a distilled water right for 1 rupees you get a glass for 1 liter you have to pay 5 rupees right so this is a like a uh, uh, you have a card so simply that farmer has to go to the that station vending station he has to insert the card and demand that what this is a crop and i require this gallons of water on this day that's information he has to change okay so similarly farmers has to uh, is going to get collect the card then charging the card from the vendor then going to pumping machine so he will insert the card and automatically so automatically this is a tomorrow in india it is already you see that this is going to be picture in jalgaon and all so now once he insert the card automatically he will get water directly in his field okay with water meter at a paid cost so what is the importance of water management that suppose you know that is invariable environment so suppose jalgaon do not have rain and suppose dhule is having rain sufficient rain and suppose dhule water bank is have sufficient water there now the government is planning that the jalgaon people farmers will get bank water from just like you know in previous day hum log kya karte the आप पास वाला किसान से वाटर लेते थे सपोज मेरे पास कुआ नहीं है वेल नहीं है तो पास वाले किसान से हम वाटर लेते थे तो सिमिलर कंसेप्ट हियर इज दैट नाउ द ईच एंड एवरी फार्मर विल गेट वाटर फ्रॉम वेंडिंग मशीन एंड दिस स्टोरेज वाटर टू डायरेक्टली इन द फील्ड सो दैट नो फार्मर विल हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम दैट ही डू नॉट हैव वाटर एट राइट टाइम सो दिस क्राफ विल नॉट बी डैमेज ड्यू टू द वाटर अन एवेलेबिलिटी सो दिस इज अ बिग पिक्चर एंड दिस ऑलरेडी smart water management is already project is going on in nagpur area vidarbha almost thousands hectare has been covered by you know international agencies and slowly it will come to the jalgaon dhule and western maharashtra so this is going to benefit each and every farmer who do not have well or water resource in his field so this is one classic example of iot with water for water management next one next slide so now irrigation system 
as you know, Jain irrigation is popular. You people might be knowing Jain irrigation in Jalgaon, Dhule. So they are already put so many systems. But mostly, these systems are affordable to the big farmers. Those who are having a hundred hectares or more than that, because they have a money and they can only afford it. Now the question is, even though we have agriculture advisory services, okay, by government, we have data, okay, weather data. But that weather data. this kind of system and advisory services are not linked now the question to the all the student bsc msc students and all professor challenging this how you can this available infrastructure can be connected through iot okay this projects msc students and bsc student can do it and then later they can become entrepreneur so they can provide services as i told you they can become a entrepreneur and they can provide agri smart agri services in their own area to be get benefit of farmers as well as they can have earn money from out of that so this is a big question so limited sensing high cost connectivity as in, in villages particular rajasthan also in and also uh, maharashtra also i have seen the network connectivity is big issue okay even though there is information available but it is not able to get in right time so this is also challenge how we can make system connectivity better in the rural sector then lack of input region specific information you have information so aap dekhoge ki jaygao ka mil jayega aapko temperature but jaygao ke andar ek koi village hai chopda ke andar koi village hai wahan kya humidity temperature hai wo aapko nahi milega so this is a question now why not we we make a some small systems that okay that college around 100 acre field student will deploy this iot device and college will serve as a server that okay this 100 hectare uh, crossing around 100 villages this is the data okay and based on the weather data the, you know those who are farmers you know et0 that is evaporation transport rate so this is calculated based on et0 crop specific water management how much water is required daily so that is calculated so depending upon the water and the pumping time you know how much water time should be given so at present kya hota hai tukke mein dete log 4 ghanta bijli hai 4 ghanta pani de do तो मान लो टेन एच पी की मोटर है तो कितना एनर्जी लगेगा कैलकुलेट करिए आप इलेक्ट्रिकल वाले जो भी है सो नाउ इफ आई रिड्यूस द हाफ एन आवर सपोज आपको चार घंटे की वजह साढ़े तीन घंटा आपने किया तो टेन एच पी पंप जो आज बारह हजार लीटर पर मिनट देता है पर मिनट अगर आप आधा घंटा सेव करते हैं तो बारह हजार इंटू थर्टी दिस मच वाटर यू आर गोइंग टू सेव राइट दिस मच ऑफ वाटर अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर एंड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिल ऑल्सो टेन एच पी का आज मीटर बिल लिख लीजिए आधा घंटे का कितना बिल आता है अगर डेली अगर आप आधा घंटा भी इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सेव करते हैं तो होल सीजन चार घंटे में अगर आपने दस दिन का इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सेव किया तो दैट विल बी फार्मर्स विल बी गेट बेनिफिटेड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिल विल बी लोलेस सो दिस इज व्हाट द आइडिया ऑफ बिकमिंग स्मार्ट सो वेदर दैट्स आर क्वेश्चन इज देयर एग्जिस्टिंग सिस्टम्स आर स्मार्ट नो दे आर नॉट स्मार्ट नाउ आवर टास्क इज हाउ यू कैन मेक स्मार्ट बाय यूजिंग आईओटी एंड दिस ऑल टेक्नोलॉजीज सो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन राइट नेक्स्ट next next slide please hello ha ah, yeah so so next slide yeah yeah, yeah no, no, the, already this okay now smart irrigation so becoming smart by knowing how where to apply water this is important what kind of plant is there geometry spacing spare density this knowledge is not to the small farmers now students can learn and they can clearly iterate the farmers about this how the water where to apply water how to apply water how you can reduce water by sprinklers or sprayers rotors drips etc when to apply water kab karna hai rain ho raha hai fir bhi pump chal raha hai nahi aap aisa system banao ki rain chalu hote hi pump ban hona chahiye automatic so start up day soak weather sensors so total solution the covering up broadcast this is what important how you can make a network good in the villages so that 100% coverage is required so total area covered number of gram panchayat suppose it is 5 total area hectare should be 100 hectares and above so you can think about the big solutions not small solutions so this is what the tomorrow india today india is small small sector divided but we have to integrate together जैसे शिवाजी महाराज ने सबको मावला इकट्ठा करके हिंदू राज किया वैसे ही आप लोगों को यहाँ 
इकट्ठे करके स्मॉल किसानों को इकट्ठा करके हाउ यू कैन गेट बेनिफिट आउट ऑफ दिस स्मार्ट एंड आईओटी टेक्नोलॉजी नेक्स्ट स्लाइड प्लीज हाँ या सो नाउ दिस इज अ लास्ट सेक्शन रोबोटिक्स एंड ड्रोन्स एज ऑलरेडी नितिन सर टोल दैट इन आउटसाइड इंडिया मेनी पीपल हैव बीन यूज ड्रोन एंड दिस रोबोटिक्स पर्टिकुलरली फॉर फोर्स्ट रेजेस लाइक क्रॉप एस्टेब्लिशमेंट क्रॉप स्काउटिंग क्रॉप केयर सिलेक्टिव हार्वेस्टिंग नाउ लेट अस सी क्विकली नेक्स्ट स्लाइड so already if you see that robotics just like a small robo in india also this already people have used robo for soil uh, moisture sensing soil quality environmental quality then beds you know this has a rice bed so automated rice bed that has been first of all cultivated in the greenhouse and then they are taken in the field so you can if you can see there are so many examples successful example of robotics uh, use of robotics in the agriculture field next next slide ha huh, now drones is a is a important thing now most of the student know abhi drone sabhi log shaadi vyah mein karte hai air uh, photography mein karte hai sab kuch karte hai now here is the one benefit of drones in agriculture because see at, at present agriculture information is processed based on the satellite data but satellite is not available 24 hours you know satellite have particular timing and satellite image resolution is not not less than 1 meter so you can get information up to 1 meter third is the satellite data is so much heavy that calculation and analysis takes at least one day so whatever information you have today you will get result tomorrow so that's why weather forecast sometimes it is a mismatch now how to reduce that so drone with simple cameras whether with cam visible band camera nir multi specter or hyper specter so what are the important plant and soil analysis height growth height health vegetation index jo hum satellite se data leke karte the wahi hum abhi drone based se ab drone se kya kar sakte hain aap 5 meter height as 8 meter height so you have a resolution of 0.1 meter so you can detect soil quality diseases etc right information at right direction and at right spot so drone not only for collecting data but also treatment also you can also use spraying also technique at particular spot so if you see that plant and soil analysis irrigation property moisture erosion all this kind of study which was done by satellite data that can be possible with the drone data that thermal imaging this is simple thermal camera you can use plant irrigation for particular irrigation for temperature and humidity mapping okay to aap dekhiye ki maan lo aapka 100 hectare ka data lena hai ek example lijiye 100 hectare ka har soil ka data temperature ka data lene mein kitna time lagega if a one person goes if 100 person goes so naturally it will take at least few days right but drone agar fly karta hai to ek saath mein 10 km tak ja sakta hai aur drone ka cost kitna hai abhi अगर आप देखोगे तो एज ए सर्विस ड्रोन एज ए सर्विसेस बॉम्बे में कंपनी है साउथ में कंपनी है पुणा में कंपनी है इवन नागपुर में कंपनी है दे आर चार्जिंग हार्डली वन थाउजेंड रुपीज पर डे वन थाउजेंड टू फाइव हंड्रेड डेढ़ हजार रुपये करते हैं हजार या डेढ़ हजार रुपये देते हैं सिर्फ किराया किराए पे मिलता है सो इफ यू कैन स्पेंड सच ए स्मॉल अमाउंट एंड यू गेट ए डेटा अराउंड हंड्रेड हेक्टर्स इन ए वन डे राइट एंड डिसीजन विद इन डे सो यू कैन particularly reduce losses due to diseases and all this uh, benefits of irrigation and etc in time and then you can achieve precision agriculture concept in a field then similarly lasers lasers also can be used so what we have one is drone at one place then how you can have a field device next challenge is now how you can integrate this iot based devices which are pump like pump is there irrigation system is there or maybe crops uh, storage is there so all these are network so that should be connected with the drone information so this is one challenge so this drones can sensor 
can be connected with the sensors deployed on the ground. Okay. For example, the area covered by the treatment of irrigation can be controlled by ground sensors in presence of wind and in absence of precise flight plans. So what if you have a data, what will be next? You have no analysis. Those who are statistical, mathematical, computer science people, those who want to do AI, machine learning. So this is an example. So you have a multi-temporal analysis for advanced management, organization of work of irrigation, fertilization, and necessary treatment. So if you see that in plant, what are the application? Vegetation in the index calculation, plant growth calculation, Counting, plant count. Abhi kya hota hai? Abhi aap dekhe, kisi ka bhi collector ko poochho ki aapke production kitna ho gita hai. To ye bolta hai, itna 100 ton ho gaya. Agar aap measure karo ga, there is variation of 10 to 15 percent. Okay. Kitna loss ho gaya? Koi log bolta hai 60 percent. But whether it's 60 percent, kai baar 80 percent hota hai. But government people, officer will say 60 percent. So to know exactly this technology is going to help plant count, counting, disease identification. Which disease is spreading? So can you can give you treatment in time, disease infection, so that the crop loss will be less. Impact of chemical and biological treatment can be also reduced. So for soil, temperature and moisture mapping, water issues, where water should be provided. So using smart water bank, you can provide this irrigation area where there is no water. So smart irrigation technique. Ground erosion and modification of topography. So these are all examples of flight and soil where you can use drone as a service in data analysis and treatment. Next slide. So these are the example already people have done using the drone with RGB and infrared and multispectral imaging used for identification of plant trace factor, plant stress. Okay, soil type, fertilizer type, insecticides, then different plant species or sources and livestock. So we can get easily all this information at one glance. So this is already a, a successful example used in USA, Canada, and you know, in India also. Okay, this is a picture in India, particularly Northeast region, okay? Northeast region, already people have done now how much plants are there, plantation is there, how much greenery is there, what kind of diseases are spreading, all this information is successfully demonstrated. Next one. So as I uh, told you, so another example is plant count. How much plant acre in the plantation is done? Okay. So from the images, from the images, you can calculate plant stress, plant potential yield. How much yield is going to be there? How much losses are there? Where the stress is there? Water stress area, like rail mark. So their water need is there. So this kind of all mapping and analysis can be easily done with the drone data. Next one. Next slide. So what are the benefit of drones and uh, robotics in the field? So naturally cost optimization, okay? Management of input cost, disease control, early detection, early detection and decision in time. Then time saving is a major factor. Crop scouting and field management, improve efficiency, since data collection and uh, data collected is right information and field focus. So drones are area, drones are useful in smart agriculture to the farmers to obvious application like time and labor saving. This is important. So at present that this cost of the farmers will be reduced. It is not going to out to visual checking of the crop. Equipments like multi spectral camera, photo drones can be easily available with the what services. So they don't have to purchase. So somebody will do services to carry out all these things. And then the drones can be utilized as a service type operation with scheduled flyover and can stored on site and used to needed for weatherproof docking stations. This is important. So you can also use the uh, drones to put covers. You know, sometimes suddenly rain comes. So the farmers has to collect the uh, plastic cover. So by that time, maybe 20, 25% his crop will get wasted. So now the, using the drone and this IoT information, he can easily use drone to put cover on larger feed, plastic cover, right? Next one, next one. Next one. 
next slide uh, so this is a uh, our work that is siri has already this recently we have put irrigation system in almost uh, 5 gram panchayat covering more more than 30 hectares of land and small farmers particularly small farmers and we have provided this all these services and mostly because network problem is there we have used lora based technology lora and iot based technology and this is successfully we have implemented in the uh, more than 20 25 hectares of land and what we have found that the farmers are very much happy that they are getting the right information at right time and almost if you see the impact of this our study that almost we have uh, saved 10 to 15 percent of water and around 10 to 10 to 18 percent of electricity billing in Rajasthan. So this is successful for this successful project we got recently CSR Innovation Award for you know agriculture sector smart irrigation and this system cost if you know this is IoT based system cost is hardly 10,000 rupees. How much? 10,000 rupees. Okay. Only walls, number of walls is reduced, number of sensors is reduced. So whatever we, you know, read in the books, it is an example. But now the real challenge is how we can reduce with a minimum efforts. So that is a challenge to the student. How you can do projects, how you can do R&D, how you can do services to particularly help these small farmer sectors. Next for example. Next one. So this is another example where a, with CCRI, you know, Citrus Institute, non-contact sensing. This is another area. Those who are students of physics, instrumentation, and those who want to do a sensor-based non-contact system. So you can use NIR, IR, and this vision-based system directly to uh, detect the disease size and all. This already technology we have developed. And one of the, my PhD students had successfully demonstrated this handheld system to in the CCR. Already we had developed this system for mango, tomato, orange. Okay. And this system cost is at present around 30,000 rupees. Now in the, we have contacted Indian government to how we can reduce still cost still further. So this kind of handy devices easily can detect. Yeah. Hello. Next one. Next slide. Sir, you are muted. Please unmute yourself. Sir, this stuff, sir. Please unmute yourself. Hello. Hello. Is I'm hearing? Yes, sir. <laughs> so that uh, micro disinfection and drying system. So just like solar dryer, this is a new technology where micro online, okay, online sorting microwave energy can be used to remove insects from the grains. So apne dekha hoga ki kahi sara go down mein jo material padta hai crop kahi baar sad jata hai, kahi baar kide lag jate. तो उसको कैसे ट्रीट करें तो उसको ट्रीट करने के लिए ऑनलाइन सिस्टम चाहिए तो ऑनलाइन सिस्टम में सोलर बहुत टाइम लेता है आपने देखा होगा सोलर एनर्जी टेक्स लॉट ऑफ टाइम इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी टेक्स अ वेरी हाई कॉस्ट सो दिस इज अ माइक्रोवेव टेक्निक वी हैव रिसेंटली इन्वेस्टिगेटेड सो जस्ट लाइक माइक्रोवेव एनर्जी कैन बी यूज्ड टू डिसइंफेक्ट द ग्रेन्स एंड ऑल दिस दिस इज वन एग्जांपल वी हैव डेमोस्ट्रेटेड इन पर्टिकुलरली हरियाणा नेक्स्ट स्लाइड दिस इज ऑल सिस्टम्स आर आईओटी बेस्ड आई एम टेलिंग Next. So, what is the challenge? You know, to the student and to the professor who are taking the classes and you know practicals projects. So, what is the need in a uh, make in India for particularly small farmers, smart handheld field specific devices for soil, seed, and environmental marketing. Drone based multi spectrum marketing and this already I said totally. Another area is AI platform. So, how you can have a data analytics platform at your college. Okay. How you can make server systems and data for uh, help the gram panchayat to disseminate and give the all this important information to each and every small farmers. Then region specific smart irrigation controllers. So you can develop our systems which are sensorless, sensorless irrigation system. 
then automation of cold storage whatever you are the storage houses are there in the jalgaon near area how what uh, iot devices like monitoring and you can uh, do the treatment using iot in the storage houses and then standardization of sensor systems agro smart and mostly this area uh, non contact based smart sensing system use of nir vis ir or uv treatment this is the one area where you can do lot of research and technology development next slide so what is going to impact a smart agriculture so this is a vision more crop per drop of water matlab each boon se jyada productive so this is what more crop per drop of water through improve efficiency in irrigation technology use of drought tolerant crop varieties to reduce irrigation need cultivation of more flood tolerant this is area in maharashtra there is most of the area flood tolerant flood is there flood is affecting the crop so flood tolerant crops use of smartphone technology and weather and crop data in the field so what we are going to give save water improve roof attractivity optimal quality yield increase profit increase the stress tolerance save pumping cost this is important electrical energy reduce carbon emission so pumping is reduced so naturally carbon production is reduced and save fertilizers so use of bio fertilizers organic farming so they will save the chemical use of in the field next one next yeah so by this let us save water and agri food tomorrow thank you sorry because of their, their intervention because of slide problem but uh, anyway uh, whatever i want to tell i am able to cover in a uh, this given time so any questions please or if you have some problems you can send me email if you do not ask this time then you can send me email i will uh, reply right thank you thank you sir thank you for nice session uh, this session is open for questions from participant side anyone can ask uh, one question is uh, in chat box uh, yeah madhvi ma'am is asking yeah uh, professional thermal cameras are costly <laughs> so how ah, to make yes. low cost thermal imaging cameras yeah yeah so yes. you can use uh, low cost thermal imaging camera no problem because see this uh, ima thermal imaging okay with the drone or with handheld if you have a 1 meter or 2 meter or 5 meter okay so even if temperature measurement or soil uh, humidity measurement if you do error have 5% error suppose low cost have plus minus 5% accuracy that doesn't matter because finally there is a equation it is zero calculation uh, uh, that is evaporation transport rate okay so it is zero and kc value will be determined the amount of water so minimum temperature humidity based on that you can crop specific the, how much water is required minimum maximum and optimum so based on that information if you can calculate it you can just send to that farmer ki suppose tumhare farmer ne cotton lagaya aur cotton mein maan lo aapko 80 ghanta pani nahi hai hame 60 ghanta hi pani chahiye और 12000 लीटर पे आवर पे चाहिए तो वो अगर उसको बताया इन टाइम में राइट तो टाइम ऑफ द कंट्रोल ही कैन कंट्रोल द टाइम विद द ऑटोमेशन और मे बी विद मैन्युअली बट ही कैन सेव द वाटर सो यू कैन यूज द लो कॉस्ट थर्मल टू प्रूफ ऑफ कंसेप्ट यू कैन यूज द लो कॉस्ट थर्मल इमेजिंग नो प्रॉब्लम बट व्हाट विल हैपन ओनली एरर सो यू मे गेट 10 प्लस प्लस माइनस 10 परसेंट एरर ओके दैट डजंट बॉर्डर बट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल the my suggestion to all of you is here that you have to demonstrate it okay once you demonstrate this technology is really useful government of india will help you to reduce all the cost and if you have a services like drone as services then the, the nagpur person one of the nagpur company have a very good thermal imaging camera okay very good quality thermal imaging on a drone and they are charging very less okay so if you have such kind of services uh naturally uh, the impact will be more so don't bother whether the sensor what we are using because college level or student level they cannot afford very high cost so you can take a small sensor and i concept you have to prove it how it is useful to the farmers and then you can automatically get money from the government thank you any thank other you. question any other question please Ready in the chat box. 
Yeah. If anyone uh, how, ask... how IoT can be helpful to save crop from sudden changes in weather condition. Right, right, correct. Okay. So this is what one question is coming from Swapna, right? Uh, really good question. So this is what I told you. So how you can make an integrated farming and how you can get data in time, you know, sometimes cloud because of internet connectivity, the cloud data cannot be available within one minute or two minutes, but that doesn't matter. But if you have a localized like LoRa based system, radio frequency, if you use RF frequency for communication, even a text message or voice message, if you can give it with uh, to the concerned farmer that, okay, so, so thing is happening, you have to take this in as early as. So that is also enough to save the losses. A good question from Sopna, I think. I have seen this. And uh, there are no, no other question now. Okay. okay. Okay, only five minutes lima, minutes remaining. Okay, thank you. They're from Lalchan. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. okay <laughs> thik. Thik. See, sir, usually as a sir, scientist, I never sir, say one, Sir, one question is there. Haan, uh, please suggest some IoT projects for physics student. Uh, yeah, yeah, correct, correct. Just like okay. physics student ke liye sabse best hai, sir. Ye UV, jo IR hai na, jo karte na, spectroscopic method for soil seed analysis. ये बहुत अच्छा एक प्रोजेक्ट है आजकल आपको पता होगा डायोड मिलते आईआर एनआर करके डायोड मिल रहा है अभी इंडिया में यू डोंट हैव टू बाय द बिग सिस्टम यू नो आईआर एनआर ये रिसीवर और ये सभी मिलते हैं इसके बेस्ट सिस्टम ये कर सकते हैं दूसरी चीज जो फिजिक्स वाले जो कर सकते हैं ज्यादातर जो अभी ऑन फील्ड जो सेंसर डेवलपमेंट है ओके लो कॉस्ट सेंसर डेवलपमेंट तो पर्टिकुलर फिजिक्स में मटेरियल साइंस के जो लोग हैं दे आर रियली गुड चैलेंज दैट हाउ यू कैन मेक ए लो कॉस्ट सिस्टम यूजिंग अ प्रॉपर मटेरियल्स फॉर दिस फील्ड डेटा लाइक सॉइल सॉइल डेटा एनालिसिस और मे बी ए प्लांट हेल्थ डेटा जस्ट लाइक पी सी ओ टू दो आर बायोलॉजिकल स्टूडेंट दे नो इवन पी सी ओ टू सेंसर दैट इज प्लांट टेक्स है जस्ट लाइक ह्यूमन बींग रिलीज सी ओ टू the plant release pco2 okay so plant for plant health you require pco2 po2 okay oxygen sensors co2 sensors and uh, dusra kya hota hai aapko pata hai na patta uh, anaj kaise banata hai photosynthesis so photosynthesis activity ye physics ke bahut acche modeling matlab physics ke liye bahut challenging time hai ki how you can do modeling simulation analysis in this kind of sensor development and use of this this is a good topic for particularly physics people okay for electronics i told you iot and other interfaces is already challenging for computer science people uh, data analysis statistics people for computer science people those who are interested in uh, algorithm development for them is a statistical and this algorithm so these are projects which can you can easily do at college level yeah please Another question is from Ubed sir. Uh, please suggest uh, IoT based PhD topic. He is asking about it. अरे वो तो फिर उसको मुझे बंदे को कांटेक्ट करने के लिए बोलो बहुत सारा है भाई क्या बताओ करता नहीं यहाँ पर समझ नहीं करता नहीं है बताओ उसको तो दस टॉपिक बताए वो नहीं कर रहा है पा रहा है तो वो क्या करेगा बिचारा बताओ समझ नहीं साहब बिजी रहते हैं वो क्या कर पाते हैं मैंने तो छः सात छः सात टॉपिक बता दिए अब के जलगांव में है सिंपलेस्ट केला के ऊपर किया क्या किसी ने रिसर्च किया आप क्या नहीं नहीं तो नहीं किया है हाँ क्योंकि देखो आपका जलगांव एरिया में वहां ज्यादातर केला होता है केला के ऊपर बहुत सारे अभी भी कर सकते हैं नॉन कॉन्टेक्ट सेंसिंग जो हमने अभी फ्रूट के लिए किया ना ऑरेंज के लिए वही टेक्निक अगर हम केला के लिए कर सकते हो तो केले के जो अर्ली डिसीज है केला प्रोडक्शन में या जो केले का जो बोलते हैं ना क्या बोलते हैं अनइवन प्रोडक्टिविटी जो है क्वालिटी जो है उसको करने के लिए कई सारे टॉपिक है अब आपके एरिया में केले के सिवा कोई और क्या प्रोडक्ट होता है बैंगन है बैंगन मैंने इसको बोला था बैंगन का भरता जो बैंगन क्वालिटी है बैंग हाँ जो आपका बहुत स्पेशल है आई हैव ऑलरेडी बिकॉज ऑफ आई हैव विजिटेड यूर कॉलेज बिकॉज ऑफ यूर चौधरी सर सो आई हैव अ वेरी गुड ट्रीटमेंट डेयर दैट टाइप सो आई हैव एंजॉय दैट फूड so so many topics are there so those who are really interested na you just you give me email i will suggest them uh, but they should do it 
right the question is that they should do it at somewhere data yes anything else anything else okay i think questions are over now thank you thank you for your uh, nice presentation and so many things uh, we have cleared about a clear idea about the iot based farming so now i request uh, dr kunal gaikwad sir please express a vote of thanks uh, thank you dr lb patel sir it's an honor to have been asked to offer a vote of thanks on the occasion of national webinar on iot based farming technologies practice and future direction 2022 i would like to take this opportunity to place on record our hearty thanks to honorable president advocate sandeep suresh patel and all management officials of our institute they always inspire us and guide us to organize such events on the behalf of mahatma gandhi shikshan mandal asc college chopra and department of electronics and entire teaching fraternity and on my behalf extend a very hearty vote of thanks to all the speakers for gracing your important work and sharing with us your findings and opinions today i extend my gratitude towards dr ds suryavanshi sir principal of our college he always encourage us to organize research oriented national and international webinars and conferences thank you so much sir a big thank you to professor dr n m kulkarni sir for his efforts towards smart farming using iot in that he explained beautifully how the current trends and future challenges in interest of in internet of things best smart farming thank you so much sir i must mention our deep sense of appreciation to dr s s sadish tap sir for his explanation on e agriculture use of smart technology and his presentation it touches on every aspect of e agriculture he also focuses on cyber physical system and its application and sir your vital information is really beneficial for our post graduate students and research scholars thank you so much sir finally i also thank to our convener of this inter of this national webinar uh, doc, uh, professor al choudhury sir for his kind support and guidance he, ex he has extended to all of us at this national webinar i also thank all the vice principals of our institute for continuous support i also extend my thanks to dr lb patel and dr mp gode coordinator for their enormous cooperation in the organization of this event i cannot thank everyone enough for their involvement and their willingness to take on the completion of task beyond their comfort zone and this evening are also full of hope and inspiration wishing you all a wonderful evening i hope you all are having a refreshing and knowledgeable evening thank you all for happy evening to all thank you thank you, thank you so much sir uh, thank you dr lalchand thank you sir thank you uh, doctor uh, thank you chaudhary sir thank you thank you sir thank you sir thank you very much sir now uh, with kind permission of the chairperson of this webinar i declare that this webinar is uh, over now thank you very much thank you ah uh, sudeep das sir ha uh, uh, dr dr gaikwad sir ha sir uh, i really uh, means uh, interested in your field and we are uh, means uh, very fortunate that means uh, you give us speech uh, speech on this topic and our students are really beneficial from your uh, presentation so uh, i really want to send you a mail regarding the current uh, topics in the iot field uh, for the electronic students sir okay thank you i will certainly see i am there as a scientist i am there to help everybody yes yeah, only thing you. is my condition that the person should uh, do it yeah, <laughs> that yeah, is my yeah. condition so yeah. so many topics are there and i have seen your area once okay. i came there in chopra and really beautiful area and there are enormous you know talent is there in your students and everything and your organization i have seen the beautiful you people are very nicely handling the college 
and really it is thumbs up because of this lockdown i i am not able to come there nagpur whenever i will come or certainly i will visit uh, your place again because uh, pilani you know rajasthan is very inside so whatever i have to come there so it, it takes around two days okay. <laughs> even five year also it is a long journey right yeah, yeah. from delhi uh, to i think uh, nearest airport is nagpur only no yeah no sir uh, aurangabad औरंगाबाद ओके औरंगाबाद ओके नाउ न्यू लीड ओके ठीक है थैंक यू अगेन माय ईमेल आईडी इज देयर सो यू कैन सेंड मी आई विल सर्टेनली हेल्प ऑल ऑफ यू राइट थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू ओके ओवर टू पटले सर यस ओके थैंक यू सर थैंक यू ऑल एंड आई हैव सेंट फीडबैक लिंक ऑन द चैट बॉक्स आल्सो so all the participants are requested to fill the feedback form then only you will get the certificate uh, certificate will be uh, available on your email by tomorrow evening and this feedback link is open till uh, 5 pm thank you very much sir